The American Journal of the Medical Sciences is a monthly peer-reviewed medical journal. History The journal was established in 1820 as the Philadelphia Journal of the Medical and Physical Sciences by Nathaniel Chapman. A new series was started in 1825 under the editorship of Chapman along with William Potts de Weiss and John D. Godman. In 1827, the editorship passed to Isaac Hayes, who gave it its present name, and helped make it one of the most important American medical journals of the 19th century. In 1984, the Southern Society for Clinical Investigation became the journal's sponsor. In 1994, 21% of submissions came from outside the United States. On the 175th anniversary, the February 1, 1995 issue featured a photograph of Volume 1 from 1820. A brief history and three classic articles were critiqued by contemporary scholars Leo Burger, Thromboangiitis obliterans, a study of the vascular lesions leading to presenile spontaneous gangrene. 136 1908, critiqued by David A. Cutler and Marshall S. Runge of the University of Texas Medical Branch at Galveston E. Libman and H. L. Sellers, "...the etiology of subacute infectious endocarditis", critiqued by Edward Hook, Jr., of the University of Virginia Norman M. Keith, Henry P. Wagoner and Nelson W. Barkers, "...some different types of essential hypertension and the cause and prognosis." Critiqued by Harriet Dustin of the University of Alabama at Birmingham. Regarding these critiques, Martinez Maldonado said. Topic Modern Journal The American Journal of the Medical Sciences is currently published monthly by Lippincott Williams and Wilkins. The 2006 impact factor was 1.355, with a rank of 41st of 103 medical journals. As of 2007, the editor in chief is David W. Ploth, Charleston, South Carolina, United States. Topic: Notable contributors. Notable articles. Samuel George Morton published his first medical essay in the 1825 journal. Henry Jacob Bigelow, Dr. Harlow's case of recovery from the passage of an iron bar through the head, 2013-22, 1850. This was only the second significant article published on Phineas Gage and his 1848 accident, but the first to create significant awareness of the case, thanks to the American Journal's prominence. The first article on Gage, by Dr. John Martin Harlow himself, had appeared in 1848 in the Boston Medical and Surgical Journal, at the time arguably a less visible publication, though it is now the New England Journal of Medicine, g. Kenneth Mallory and Soma Weiss described the first 15 cases of Mallory-Weiss syndrome in 1929. 